All right, I'm gonna record my adventure today, going to get Edgar, the puppy, the brown spaniel puppy. I'm pretty excited. Let's go get him. All right, we gotta stop at Copper Moon Coffee. We gotta get Copper Moon on our way. Let's get some coffee. Guys, don't tell my wife. Even though she's totally gonna see this, but don't tell her. Guys, I spilled coffee on myself. That's what I get. <sighs> Whatever. I have about two hour drive one way to go get Mr. Edgar. And then uh, we'll see uh, We'll see when we get there. Guys, I messed up. So I was just so excited to leave this morning that I actually forgot to grab literally anything. I, done, <laughs> I planned to grab like a small tote with a blanket to put Edgar in so he wouldn't be just running around the car and I forgot both of those so I don't know what I'm gonna do I called last night and they said that I could I think I can pay a little extra to get him fitted for a leash or whatever or a collar I don't know maybe both so I'm gonna hope that that's a thing and I heard her correctly so that way I can have the leash in the collar I don't have to go to like Walmart and guess what size to get and then I, <laughs> unless they have some kind of crappy blanket they can give me I might be <laughs> I might be in trouble because I'm just gonna have to put him in the seat I was so excited to leave that I forgot I forgot to grab anything and I realized it way too late we're already we're 52 minutes in this was supposed to be a two hour trip, but for some reason, the GPS is taking me down this way where I'm just going through cities and towns. I did not get on the interstate, which I should have just got on the interstate. Probably would have been way faster. So now I still have about an hour and a half to go, and I've already been driving for about 53 minutes. So I'm gonna be there so far. My GPS is saying I'm gonna be there 18 minutes later than what I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be there right at noon. Now it's saying 12, 18. It's 10, 53 right now. So, is what it is. But yeah, I just wanted to give that update. That, uh, that sucks. I'm not, <laughs> I, I just hope, I hope that they can give me a blanket or that he doesn't pee on the seats because it's gonna be about a two to three hour drive back. I'm gonna have to stop like seven times on the way home. Just to make sure he doesn't pee or, pee or poop in the car. Huh. Well, good news is the coffee I spilled all over my leg dried up. So now it smells like coffee in here. Which is nice. Whatever. Just got to Walmart. I decided I needed to stop. I don't want to take a chance of Edgar peeing on everything. So I stopped at Walmart. I'm going to buy him a leash and a collar. And a dog bed. And I think I'm gonna wait on, well, I'm gonna get treats too, but I'm gonna wait on the dog food. I'm gonna see if the shelter recommends any specific kind. And I also need to go home and like do some, some of my own research. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. And we're finally like here, like we're in the area. I passed by it. So it's been a long drive and I have to pee so bad from that coffee. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's go inside. Hey, right, we're back in the car. I was gonna re there, but there was too many people and I didn't wanna. So I got this be this bed, probably too big for him. I can't really tell. I've only seen pictures and videos of Edgar. So I can't really tell exactly how big he is, but whatever, it's from Walmart, I can return it. And this is the world's smallest Walmart I've ever been to. So I got a little rope and I got a ball. This ball might be way too big, but we'll see. And then they didn't have any stepping like collars, like the harness, so I just got this little collar. But I think that the place we're gonna adopt them from, I think that they might have an option for me to buy a collar from them. But this was labeled as small. It's kind of big, I don't know. And then I got this, just a little leash, the blue leash to match it. And then I got mini treats. And then I got this Gatorade for me. So that's what uh, Edgar's gonna be rocking with. I'm gonna get rid of this bag right now now that I think about it so he doesn't chew on it and choke. All right. Let's go get our boy. Hey, Mr. Edgar. Mr. Edgar. Are those big dogs over there scaring you? Hi. Hi there. 
Are those big dogs scaring you over there? Are they big dogs? So you're just a little baby dog? <laughs> I think you'll play with a toy you just dropped. Are you distracted by them? <gasps> come here. Hey, Edgar. Come here. Come on. Come on, jump. Can you jump up here? Are you big enough? Are you a small little man? Are you a small little man? Edgar, do you know your name? You know your name kind of, huh? You know your name a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? There's some big dogs playing over there, huh? Edgar. Hey. <gasps> Hey Edgar! Edgar, are you in the car? Are you ready for a little road trip? Are we going home? Are we going to your new home? Do you like that bed? Is that a big bed? It's a big bed for you, huh? You're just a little man. Alright, let's head home. He's sleeping. Uh oh, sorry. Alright, so Edgar and I took a little break, a little potty break. He went potty and got a treat. He's got little boogers in his eyes, but I gotta wait till we get home to uh, wipe those out. Can you see him? He's just been napping. We're about an hour down. We have about an hour to go-ish. A little bit more than that, probably. I got his collar on him. He's just a happy little camper. Let's go finish this road trip. <laughs> 